biggest news we had this week was about inflation. The CPI and PPI, Consumer Price Index and Producer Price Index, showed a significant lack of inflationary pressures, thus giving the Fed the freedom to do whatever it wants to do with interest rates. And as they met this week, they said they're going to keep interest rates very low and for an extended period of time. Well, they can do that. They don't have any worry about inflation. You know, that's one of the major issues that we're going to be facing in the future. But right now, there's no no wage inflation because there's so, there's so much unemployment out there, 10% or so. Uh, and the only inflation we have is coming from commodity prices, which is not seen yet, other maybe than oil, because consumers can't afford higher prices. So the manufacturers, even if they had inflation at the wholesale level, couldn't very well pass those price increases on to us. So that's good. The biggest danger facing the economy, I would think, is still housing. Um, have you noticed, though, there, there was a big worry about commercial real estate being a problem, and that hasn't developed yet. Maybe it won't. One of the very large uh, uh, mall companies decided to buy one of its very large competitors, and that certainly is helping. But there's a lot of interest by investors, both in private homes and commercial properties. So maybe we're not going to see a second foot drop where the commercial property foreclosure rate is an issue. I don't know. But I do think on the housing front, we're going to have a continually increase in the foreclosure rate. I do think that's the biggest problem we have faced us. Just as a reminder, in every recovery from a recession, there is a lot of worry. There's a lot of worry right now. That worry is going to continue. Well, that's normal. You know, I think too many people are, are doom and gloom out there about this economic recovery. There's a very large positive that not too many people are really paying attention to. They know, for instance, that China is growing strongly. They know that the rest of the world, is, uh, other than Europe, is growing stronger than we are here in the U.S. But they think that that's not going to affect the U.S. And in fact, it's going to affect us greatly to the positive. So everything is not doom and gloom. Everything actually is looking up. Don't expect employment to to do that well. It always lags in recovery. It lags by many, many months. But I will say that I think that for March we're going to have a job increase, not a shrinkage. But that's going to be due, due mostly to the Census Bureau taking census statistics and hiring a bunch of temporary employees. So it's going to give us an artificial view of job creation. We'll see what the politicians make of that. But, um, you know, the market's crawling up this wall of worry. It's continued to do so, and I think it will continue to do so with some bumps along the way. Along the, way. the Invest Talk Update is a monthly briefing that gives you a snapshot of the past month's market, along with other useful perspective and information. You'll see important articles, like protecting your investments against scam artists, excerpts from Steve's book, Links to the month's Invest Talk talking points, plus news of upcoming Invest Talk events in your area. And it comes free each month to your email box. To get your subscription, just go to investtalk.com and click on the icon at the top of the page.